Hey everybody, welcome back. I think this is like episode 6 or something like that. Anyway, we're still waiting for the chopper event. Picking up exactly where we left off. We're losing weight pretty quick. So we need to actually start finding more... Highly caloric food, I guess is the term. Anyway, we still have about a day or two until the chopper event, so we're gonna go out and scout a little bit. Get my uh, wrench ready. Okay, I think we're good. Run a quick perimeter check. We are bored too, so like, definitely need to do something here. Is this zombie down here? Nah. Okay, so, taking a look at our map, we have a couple garages, two more houses on this street to check out, so, we're gonna go do that. We are looking... As I said, still looking for skill books. And pretty much anything useful. There is a garage here. Should probably go into stealth here. Zombies definitely broke into that house. There's a small group over there. Let's see if we can sneak into this house. Or, sorry, this garage. I, I, I don't know what I'm thinking of my brain. <laughs> Let's see, we got a hammer, box of nails, box of screws, drop the hammer of course, our water mask, that's, that's going to be useful, later on, a couple empty gas cans, those we can definitely use, absolutely, alright, Try to break into this house over here. Check real quick. A small group of zombies over there. Empty bottle. Gravel bag. What else do we got? Tent peg mill. Tent kit. Nice. I can see some use of that. Let's continue exploring a bit. That is locked. Now, I know there's broken windows and stuff over there, but there's also zombies in that direction. Same with down here, that's why I'm kind of hesitant to go in over this way. Because there's a group over here somewhere. Yeah, right there. Okay, let's zoom in, clear this house. Let's check it out real quick. Okay, it appears to be clear. Oh, hello, woodcraft, definitely useful. Exposure to survival, nice. Cool. Those will come in handy, absolutely. Okay, there's no tape in there. Sometimes you gotta check the TVs. There might be tapes in them sometimes. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, we snuck up on this one good. Fishing. Trapping. Okay, what door is it? Okay, Let's deal with this guy real quick. Alright. Corners that scare me, dude. Oh shit, sounds like somebody just broke in. Painkillers, soap, some cologne. 
All right. We have zombies somewhere in the house. I think. I'm not sure where, but it might be time to bail. Bleach clean liquid dirty rag. Nope. I think we're good there. I think it's time to leave. Found some good stuff. Not bad, not bad. It's only 1250. Let's drop off what we found. Then, uh, continue raiding some of these houses. I think we're gonna cross the street. Just wanna make the safety before I mark my map here. So, we got these garages. Cleared that house. We have not checked these two houses over here. We know there's a group of zombies down here in the, this little area. But we still have these two houses and we have this little corner over here. So, we're gonna, we're gonna start moving out. Still a bunch of stuff to do. <laughs> Getting this place pretty stocked up unnecessarily, but it is what it is, you know? And this will give me something to watch when it gets dark. So we're gonna move this over here. Let's get our books. Okay. Now I do want to put some stuff in the car. I'm probably going to try to hold out as long as I can in this place. But yeah, I do want to make way to the uh, West Point Mansions. Absolutely. That needs to happen. And if we have to abandon this place, you know, during the chopper event, we will. We'll just have to come back later on and come back and grab all this stuff. So, in the meantime, let's stock these shells up with stuff that we found. We have some nails, some screws, a water mask, another hammer. Let's put the water over here too, why not? And I think we're gonna move, put the, let's put the tent kit in the car. That's gonna have the most use there. So we just have the soap and the empty fuel cans, which we can just kind of place on the ground. I'll put these over here. The base is starting to look like a base a little bit. I am going to... Oh shit, I didn't realize we had a water mask right there. We're going to put all this here. Strength and all that's pretty good. All right, we're gonna continue the, to uh, loot those houses. Some rest for a minute. Give it about 10 minutes or 20 minutes in game. Okay. Should have a decent little rest out of that. Okay, so yeah, we have a few houses to go down.
There is that group down here. We might have to actually just take care of them. I don't think I've looted this house yet. We're getting some very useful uh, sneak experience every time we're near a zombie. It's locked. Alright, let's clear this place. Thing looks good. It's a broken window there. We got anything good? Another empty bucket. I think we're gonna pass on that one. Checking down here. Clear. Oh shit. Somebody was a musician. Alright, let's check upstairs. Of course, being very cautious, very careful climbing the stairs. wide okay nothing some vitamins could definitely use those All right, let's do next a little knock Just close. Empty notebook and some earbuds. Wizards magazine. Puzzles. Oh shit, there's a zombie right there. Bathroom's clear. Sewing kit. Nice. All disinfected. Use some bandages. One more door. And it's just an office. With some glue though. Okay, yeah, nothing else in here. Well, this house has been cleared. Just like garage right next door. And I saw at least one zombie there. I think we're gonna have a cigarette before we leave the house. Okay. Okay, we don't see any zombies over there. We know at least one up front. That's a group. That's a group I can deal with, though. I'm just, I gotta be careful with that group down there. Unless this is the group and they migrate north, but still, it's a risk I don't really feel like taking. attention. Okay, yeah, just the one zombie over here. Let's get them. Shit, the other one. Try to get a sneaky bite on me. Make that three. Okay, 
she's, she's stuck in the corner. And we got point maintenance, so that's good. Okay, let's take a quick look around. Clear. Can't get in there, damn. So that's locked. We could just beat it down, but I don't think that's very safe. <laughs> now this is risky here. It's these trees. Trees can hide a good amount of zombies. Okay, anything good? We have, an, have another wrench. Type of extinguisher. Dust mask and a small metal sheet. Okay, it's on. Oh. Got a jump scare. Yep, I see him. Okay, so this is sketchy. I know there's zombies in here. Just gotta be real careful. Couple bookshelves, that's a good sign. We know there's zombies in here. Right there, just make sure he's the only one. Okay, we're good. Still this room right here. Okay. Oh, we got a dead mouse. That's stale. We have cooking volume one, farming, foraging. Definitely useful. Tailoring. Kanks volume two. You know what? We'll just take them. Screw it. Anything that's useful. Mechanics, Metalworking Magazine, which I think we read all already. Comic book, 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 okay. G Squad, alright. Nothing too useful here. So, let's mark this house. Mark the shed, and this house. So, those have been cleared. We're getting pretty heavy, actually. We have plenty of space. Oh, crap, sorry. So, ooh, Survivor House. That means there's some good shit in here. There's a group of zombies in there, however. Let's see if we can find a way in that's not boarded up. Because this actually might be worth, uh worth getting into. Alright, looks like the weakest point's in here. So let's go over this way. Can I unbarricade? No, it's not even giving me the option, dude. I think I need a hammer. <laughs> Damn. Alright. What about the door? Yeah, I think we need to hammer the barricade. Oh yeah, they're definitely in there. I can hear them. It'll be worth coming back to. For sure. In the meantime, there's a zombie over here. I'm gonna cut through the trees here. Small group deal with them over here where we know we're not going to get hit in the back. Let's pull them over here. I feel much safer knowing that, like, I'm not going to get hit from, like, the trees down here.
Okay, let's go. We're a tad bit hungry. We need to gain some weight, so we need need to eat some fattening food. So, now that we're safe, I'm going to mark this right here as a survivor home. I don't know what kind of symbol I want to give that, though, so... I say we give it the good old star so we know it's important. But, we're safe for now. We're gonna head back. I think it's time to equip an axe. Like an actual axe. Yeah, give me one. And we're gonna need a hammer for uh, opening up that barricade. It does make us a little heavy, but we do have a bunch of shit to drop, so let's do that real quick. Okay, so we got fishing volume three, or sorry, that's farming, fishing volume five, forging volume one, kanks volume two, tailoring volume two, and I think we're going to watch woodcraft. Oh yeah, we can also put that there as well. With the wrench, let's run that downstairs, and yeah, we're going to watch some, uh, watch a movie, get some carpentry skill. Let me just get all this garbage away. Sun kit we can also put in here as well. That lower weight a bit. The vitamins can go in the med room. Doesn't really matter to me where. Just put them somewhere. Bob disinfectant. Oh yeah, the glue. That's why we can use that to uh, repair a little thing here. So we're actually gonna take this out real quick. Still can't repair it, huh? Does that have to be equipped? Huh, weird. Maybe it has to be in our main inventory. Let's try that. Nope, so can't repair it. So weird. Okay, well, in that case. Maybe it has to be made out of wood or something. Anyway, let's grab a bite to eat. We have anything kind of fattening. One job. I think ham would be good. Let's warm that bad boy up. That should get us nice and fat. Let's speed up some time a bit. Just in one city. This should get us against weight. Hopefully. Nope, we're still uh still losing. Shit. Alright, well on Woodcraft. Sit down and watch some TV. Okay, let's This will let us just kind of chill.
problem is in developing country, such as poverty, disease, and climate change. As part of the conference, Mr. Clinton agreed to his first one-on-one interview ever on Fox News Sunday. The ground rules were simple. Fifteen minutes for our sit down. Oh shit, no, stop. Let's pull that back out now. <laughs> Can I now pull it out? Did that eat the VHS tape? Yo, I think that ate the VHS tape. Maybe we just gotta pull it out. Let's see. Oh, we have exposure survival. That'd be a good one. Let's watch that. And we'll turn the TV back on. I have way too many menus open. That's kind of distracting. How the fuck do you eject a... Oh, you right click it. Duh. Huh. I totally knew that. Let's play that. See, I was just seeing if you guys do that. Sean, I apologize if you guys have been hearing my vape. I wasn't even thinking about, oh shit, we're actually getting carpentry from this one. Let's go. This is cool, too, because, like, if this survivor dies, we can come back and just watch all these again and get all the skills back. Sorry, I have to keep moving my mic up because I got, like, really bad acid reflux making me burp a lot. Okay. Well, we have these done. So we're gonna put these away. And uh, I think fishing is gonna be a good one to learn. So I think we're gonna start working on that. So yeah, let's uh, sit down. And let's start reading. We're gonna read till about midnight. Actually, catch life and living. Now, let's grab ourselves a smoke. Put that out. I don't hear the uh, chopper yet. So, that might be a blessing in disguise. Anyway, we're at that half hour mark of recording. So. We're gonna hit up that Survivor host house. Shit, there's a show on. I'm gonna watch this, but uh, I'm gonna stop the recording. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next episode. I'm trying to do daily with this. Uh, I can't guarantee every day it's gonna be an upload, but I'm gonna try. And we're gonna try to get to at least 100 days and uh, see how much better it goes after that. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you next time. Peace.